2019 was a record-breaking year for aviation. In the year, 4.1 billion passengers flew on flights. That's 218 million more people than in 2018. And it also means that over half of the world's population fly every year. But when you're cruising at 30,000 feet, there are some things the flight attendants on board will never tell you. These are the secrets only flight attendants get to know. For example, did you know those chimes you hear on airplanes is actually a secret code? And while every passenger rushes to be the first aboard, did you know it's best to be last? Today we'll discover these secrets and more told to us by former and current flight attendants. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at secrets flight attendants will never tell passengers. But before we take off, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Secret Code. We've all been sitting on airplanes before and heard those chimes. You know, the ones that sound kind of like this. Some people believe this to be the jingle of the airline, but that's actually not the case. The chimes you hear during a flight are actually a secret code for the airline attendants. Flight crews use a system of chimes and bells to communicate across the cabin, all while keeping their communication secret, meaning the passengers don't know them. The chimes could be about things like remaining snacks. They could also be about turbulence detected on the flight path. And sometimes, the chimes could signal a cockpit emergency or a change of route. That's why these airplane chimes are so loud to get every crew member to hear them. Now, these chimes vary from airline to airline, so I can't completely decode them for you. But one singular chime normally means something mundane. For example, the pilot may be saying to the flight attendants, do a seatbelt check, or check for the number of remaining snacks. If there's two dings, it could be something more dramatic, for example, turbulence. And one you may not have heard before would be three dings. Three chimes in a row usually mean some kind of emergency or a total change of flight route. Let's hope you never hear that final one. Next up is be last aboard. We've all had the experience of seeing people rush onto airplanes as soon as you can board. Hey, you might have even done it too, I know I have, but according to any flight attendant, it's actually way better to be last to board. Well, the great thing about boarding last is you can pick from any remaining seats. Unlike other passengers, you don't need to follow a seating plan. So you and your fellow traveler can be sure to sit next to each other on any remaining seats. Seeing as the doors have now closed behind you, you know you're the last person to get on the airplane. And this means you won't be taking anyone else's seat no matter where you sit. So next time you're boarding, don't rush onto the plane. Instead, take your time and board last. Next up is toilet door. Have you ever used the lavatory on an airplane? If you have, then sorry you had to go through that. But there's one secret about airplane toilets you likely did not know. And it's actually to do with the toilet door. If you think that locking the toilet door from the inside will make sure no one can come in, then you're mistaken. That's because airplane toilets can unlock from the outside. There's an external lock mechanism hidden beneath the no smoking sign on the door. Now, this may seem pretty creepy that any flight attendant could potentially open the door while you're using the lavatory, but this is actually done for safety reasons. For example, in case someone passes out in the toilet, or in case a plane hijacker locks themselves in the toilet. Next time you're on an airplane, flip up the no smoking sign on the door and you'll see how you can unlock it. Just don't actually use this to unlock it while someone's using it. That would not be nice. It turns out on an airplane, privacy is merely an illusion. Next up, we have dimming lights. Have you ever wondered what it means if an airplane suddenly dims its lights? Some people think that an airplane dimming its lights would mean it's time for them to sleep. But the aircraft crew really don't care whether you're asleep or not. The reason airline attendants dim the lights is to prepare your eyes for a potential evacuation. Most of the time when you're on an airplane, your eyes are adjusted to darkness. This means if something goes wrong during takeoff or landing, your eyes aren't prepared. That is unless the lights have been dimmed and your eyes have become acclimatized to the new light. Now, the lights being dimmed does not mean you're going to have an evacuation. But statistically, during takeoff and landing is when most emergencies and evacuations happen. So that's why during takeoff and landing, the lights are dimmed. And if you see this happening mid-air during turbulence, you may have an emergency landing, so get ready. Coming up next is more food. So most people don't really like airline food. That is unless they're on a five-star Casey Neistat style flight. But if you do want more airline food, you can actually ask for it. 
You likely haven't heard of this, and that's because the flight attendants don't want you to know. That's because it's more work for them to keep bringing you food. But you can ask for as much airline food as you want. The reason why is because aircraft food has a very short shelf life. It's delivered pre-made, meaning lots of it gets disposed of. Pretty much all excess food is immediately discarded after the flight. So that's why passengers can actually eat as much as they want. It's basically an all-you-can-eat buffet, so don't be afraid to ask a flight attendant for more food. Next up is they're as frustrated as you are. Have you ever been really annoyed because your flight's been delayed and taken it out on a flight attendant? Well, if that's the case, you should know that they're as frustrated as you are. And I'm not just saying that, I really mean it. You may assume flight attendants don't care whether a flight is on time or not because, hey, they're getting paid anyway, right? Well, that's actually not true. Flight attendants don't get paid until the airplane doors close. Most flight attendants earn an hourly wage and don't start getting paid until the doors are shut. Also, they stop getting paid after the doors are opened. So if you're annoyed you can't get off the plane when you land at your destination, believe me, they are too. All that time flight attendants spend getting the plane ready, boarding passengers, and doing safety checks is unpaid. This is not the case for all airlines. For example, some European airlines do use a salary system. But in many USA airlines, flight attendants are paid hourly. So if your plane is late or delayed, don't take it out on the flight attendants. They're not even getting paid to be there. Next up is Soda Can. Have you ever noticed that if you ask for a soda on an airplane, they pour it into a glass and give it to you? Most of the time, the glass is much smaller than the soda can, and they can usually get two drinks out of one soda can. But did you know that if you want, you can ask for the whole can of soda? The airline attendants are told to pour it into a cup. This is because it saves the airline money. But if you simply ask the flight attendant for the whole can, 9 times out of 10, they will give it to you. You're paying for the flight, so I think you deserve a full can of Coca-Cola. Coming up next is secret ashtrays. It's pretty common knowledge that since the 90s, smoking has been banned on airplanes. Many people think this is because of fire safety on board a plane, or maybe to make the experience nicer for flyers. But that's not the case. Actually, it's because airline fans got very dirty from all the cigarette smoke. This meant they had to replace them more often, costing them money, so they just banned smoking on airplanes. But if you accidentally do light up a cigarette, you can actually use the ashtrays. That's right, airplanes built today are still made with ashtrays. Go into the airplane toilet and you'll see it. The reason why airplanes still have ashtrays is in case anyone does smoke on an airplane. And it's better to put cigarettes out in an ashtray instead of putting them into a trash can. So if your brain's going on autopilot mode and you forget smoking is banned on airplanes, then simply use the toilet ashtray. Next up, we have bulkhead seats. When you get on an airplane, many people rush to take the bulkhead seats. But according to flight attendants, you should avoid these at all costs. The reason why is because passengers with babies usually take the bulkhead seats. That's because they're slightly bigger and safer to place a baby carrier on. But this also means if you sit on one of these seats next to a baby, you're going to have to endure screaming for hours on end. It's every flyer's own personal hell to sit next to a baby. And this is yet another reason why you should board last, to make sure you're not sitting next to any babies on board. And on the subject of babies, finally on the list, we have baby delivery. Doctors usually advise women who are deep into their pregnancy not to fly. But sometimes, babies come out early. And sometimes, people simply ignore this advice and fly anyway. Well, flight attendants are pretty much the aviation version of a Swiss Army knife. The reason why I say this is because they're trained to do pretty much anything. Many people think of them as simply waitresses in the sky, but that is not the case. They're also taught how to put out fires. They can also diagnose conditions and broken limbs, stop nosebleeds, and even do CPR. And most unbelievably, deliver a baby. That's right, if your water breaks at 30,000 feet, have no fear. Flight attendants are actually trained in delivering babies. And every year, 16 babies are delivered on airplanes. I've even made an entire video called, What if you give birth on an airplane? So check that out if you want more information. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, which was the best flight secret. If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.